The Color Picker is an often used tool when building your web pages. In EvWeb, it's easy to access through the toolbar, by the window Show Colors menu option, or by using the Command plus Shift plus C shortcut key. Whenever you click on any color swatch in the Inspector window, Color Picker is also there. The Color Picker has five available tabs. The Color Wheel, Color Slider, Color Palette, Image Palette, and Crayons. While selecting the color that you want to use is self-explanatory, there are some other useful things to know about the Color Picker. If you are using a large screen and need Color Picker to be more visible, just grab one of the corners of the Color Picker window and drag outwards to make the Color Picker larger. You can also resize the Color Picker vertically to make it taller by just grabbing the top of the window and dragging the mouse pointer upwards. This is also useful if you can't see all of your saved colors in the color palette at the bottom of the color picker. If you select a color in Color Picker, it's displayed as the large swatch in the bottom left corner of the app. To save this color, just drag it from the large swatch area onto one of the empty smaller swatches. By default, there are two lines of small swatches. Drag the color to where you want and drop it in place. Swap colors around just by dragging and dropping the color you want to move to a different swatch location. To remove a color from the Save Color Swatch palette, drag and drop the color you want to remove to the trash can. This appears to be the only way to delete colors you have saved and no longer want in the Save Swatch palette. If you need to match up a color to replicate it on your website, use the eyedropper tool. Click on the eyedropper and the mouse pointer becomes a magnifying glass. Find the color you want to color match, then click, and the color is then available as the large color swatch. If you want to save the color, just drag it to one of the small color swatch locations. You can then use that color elsewhere. If you have more than two rows of saved colors, there are a few ways in which you can view colors if they are not easily visible. You can resize the color picker so that it reveals any rows of small color swatches that are not visible. Or, you can grab the top of the color picker window and stretch it vertically until the hidden rows become visible. If you want to keep the view at only two color swatch rows, drag vertically when the mouse pointer is over the color swatch rows. You'll see that any hidden rows will scroll into view. Lastly, resize the color picker horizontally. Stretching the color picker makes longer rows of the small color swatches. Color picker also allows you to make your own color palette. To make your own palette, First of all, select the Color Palette tab, which is the center tab of the Color Picker. Click on the Settings cog, and then select New. An unnamed color palette is created with one unnamed color. Drag any of the small color swatches that you want included into the new color palette. When you do this, they will also be named Unnamed. Double-click on the Unnamed label, and rename each color that you have added to the color name that you want to use. To add the large swatch color to your color palette, just click on the plus button. To remove a color from the color palette, highlight it in the list and click the minus button. To name your color palette, use the settings cog and select rename. 